Hi, I'm Matthew. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people deal with stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. I want to first explain how you can make sure that you are not missing out on any of our content. To get instant access to the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia, please visit our website and simply provide your email address. All of our information is absolutely free. And our information can be helpful for anyone wishing to improve the quality of his or her life. Please visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com. One quality that I've always found admirable in others is the ability to come around. I'll explain what I mean. There are many people that might get frustrated or make a bad decision. But after doing so, they have a tendency to do some self-reflection. They revisit their thinking on the matter and ultimately make the right decision in the end. These are people that get it. And unfortunately, there are people who just don't get it. There are generally two categories of people who don't get it. Those who simply don't get it, and those who seem to get it, but really don't get it. As an example, they say things like, yeah, I know what you mean, or yeah, I get it. But then their future behavior demonstrates that they really didn't get it. It could be that they rationalize their own contradictions by telling themselves things like, no, that doesn't apply to me. Another way of describing such behavior is a double standard. It is subtle, though. However, that doesn't mean it is not harmful. It can drastically affect one's life. One individual I came across with this tendency worked with me in a volunteer organization. Many of the other volunteers often found his comments to be overly critical and obnoxious. He felt he was just being honest with them. But he really did provide feedback in a very critical way. He was a hard worker, but he had absolutely no insight into his own behavior. One day I was talking with him and learned that he had volunteered for a number of organizations in the past. An obvious pattern emerged. He would work in an organization for a while, and then his relations with others soured. He viewed the other volunteers as the cause of such situations, in that others in the organization would not see things his way. In his mind, his way was the right way, and anything else was the wrong way. This pattern had continued for a number of years. Often those more junior to him would put up with his behavior because they had no choice. He would point to those people who didn't take any issue with his comments as justification that his overly critical comments were really not that bad at all, nothing to be worried about, in his words. One day, though, he asked me and another person for some feedback. He held us in high esteem, so he was open to our input. We were very careful to provide our feedback in a gentle way. We even opened up about our own shortcomings. He was surprised by this at first, but by the end of our talk, he saw the value of improving relations with others. In other words, he saw the implications of repeating the pattern of behavior where his relations with others were soured. In the end, he agreed to speak with an industrial organizational psychologist who did some work for the organization. This psychologist then referred him to another psychologist who agreed to work with him on improving his perspective taking and communication. The process was helpful for him because it allowed him to self-reflect. Had the individual not been open to hearing feedback and working with another to help him, then I doubt he would have been able to change his behavior. A motivational way to think of this issue, if you have such a problem, is the following. If I don't learn to get it, then I will always suffer from toxic relationships. People will avoid closeness with you because there is this quirk and you don't recognize it. I'm not talking about regular idiosyncrasies that we all have, but more major ones like I described earlier. How important is this tendency for someone who wishes to deal with stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia? In short, it's very important. And I'll explain why by providing another example. A woman I knew was very anxious and had a very dim view of ever being able to recover from her panic disorder. She was not open to help, even though she thought that she was trying. After talking with some friends, who were very honest with her in a cordial way, she eventually saw that although she was making an initial honest effort, she really was not putting a full effort into her recovery. 
Once she saw how doing so would allow her to experience the benefits, she agreed to work with a psychologist to give such techniques another full try. This resulted in her improving her condition quite dramatically and quickly. This is why it is important to get it when it comes to your anxiety. Because if you don't get it, you are closed off. You may not utilize strategies that could be right under your nose. In order to gain access to the effect of such strategies, you need to be able to get it. So, getting it really refers to doing something to help address challenges that are blocking you from a better life. But you first have to recognize your blind spots. You have to be emotionally available. If you're just doing things in a robotic way, it's not very helpful. Also, if you do give something an honest effort and it doesn't prove very helpful, you are not limited to one strategy. There are multiple things that you can do to get better, and we share them through our material at Panic Attack Recovery. In conclusion, the secret to getting it is really a matter of thinking about your challenges in simplistic terms. Honestly, ask yourself the following. What are the things I'm not getting in life? For the anxiety sufferer, you could start with asking, what help is available that I might have overlooked? Or maybe you are aware of various techniques you could be using for your anxiety. However, you have to ask yourself the following. Have I been open to these techniques? Have I really tried them? In other words, have you made an honest effort? If you have trouble recognizing what things you may be overlooking in life, consider obtaining help from a professional. Ultimately, you have to be the one to make the decision to move forward in this regard. Being cajoled by others will unlikely be helpful for you. You have to make a commitment to change. It is important to schedule time into your calendar so that on a regular basis you can be more self-reflective of your actions and reactions. So schedule some time for self-reflection. Remember the rewards of the self-reflective process. It can help your anxiety, improve your relationships with others, and improve the quality of your life in general. And anyone can struggle with the issue that I've discussed in this podcast. It is not specific to any socioeconomic, professional, or intellectual status. To be fair, I believe that everyone should carry out this process of self-reflection. I hope that you have enjoyed this podcast. If so, we would like to ask you to complete a review of our podcast on iTunes. This won't take long at all. This will ensure that we can help as many people as possible. We appreciate your support. To thank you, we would like to share with you the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. Please visit our website and simply provide your email address. All of our information is absolutely free. And remember, anyone can benefit from our material. Please visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com. All information presented in these podcasts is provided for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for a psychologist, psychiatrist, or other health care provider's consultation. Please consult a psychologist, psychiatrist, or appropriate health care provider about the applicability of any opinions or recommendations with respect to your own panic attacks, anxiety or agoraphobia, or any other symptom or condition.